Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Suicune from Pokemon. We're going to be drawing this character from the side. So let's get started on the left side with the head. I'm going to start with the curve for the upper eyelid. Starting from the inside, and the curve up, and then out towards the right. Now at the bottom here, I just want to step up a little bit to keep, create a little overlap. Draw a short line going across and curve it up towards the top of the eyelid. Now up at the top here, we're gonna draw a half oval for the iris. Starting at the top, we'll curve down, and we'll pull that back up. Right in the middle, we're gonna draw a smaller half oval just for the pupil. From the top corner of the eye, I'm gonna draw a spike going out towards the side. So from here, I'm just gonna curve out towards the right, and then just pull it up. I'm gonna curve in the opposite direction just above the eye. From the inside of the eye, I'm going to draw a little curve going out towards the side of the head. So we'll go up and then out. From here, I'm going to curve up and in towards the top of the crown. From here, I'm going to draw a large curve going to the tip of the crown. So let's start at the front here, curving up and over towards the right to right about there. I'm going to curve in the opposite direction and just pull this in behind the spike. Now in the center here, I just want to draw the center seam. So right at the top, we're just going to curve down and then just pull that up. I'm going to continue this curve going out towards the front of the muzzle. So let's continue forward. Now I'm going to curve the bottom of the mouth coming down towards the bottom of the chin. Coming across and over. From here, I want to draw an angled line going up towards the right. And then we're just going to curve down the side of the mouth, coming down. Let's tuck the bottom of the chin underneath the mouth. So from this tip, we're going to step up slightly, curve back. There's a little point at the bottom here. So it's almost like a little half oval, coming down and then back up. From here, we're just going to draw the front of the chest. So we're going to curve the front of the neck, going over towards the left. Let's go back up to the top and draw in the large mane. So we're going to start right beside the eye and just draw a wave going all the way towards the tip. So let's start up here and curve down and then we're going to go back up. Curve down. Now we're going to draw some smaller curves going down and then we'll just go all the way up to the tip. Now let's move to the top and draw the top of the mane. So we're going to start right beside the crown and go up, down, up, and then we're going to draw a little wave that goes down and in. From here I want to draw a little overlap. So we're going to step up, curve down, and then up towards the tip of the mane. Let's go to the inside and draw some texture. So we're gonna draw two sets of waves. So starting up right beside the spike, so we'll follow that line around to there. Go to the bottom, and just draw that same curve going across. We're gonna go a little bit longer and pull it up. From here, we wanna work our way towards the back where the ribbon is, because the ribbon's gonna overlap the body. So let's start with the back up here. The curve down and then up. Now right here, we're just gonna pull it down in the back. Now right at the end here, we're going to draw in the ribbon that waves around and over across the body. So we're going to start up here, curve around. Now we're going to loop this back in behind that line, coming down. We're going to thicken this up, so we're going to draw the bottom edge of the ribbon. So we're going to step down, and curve, and now we want to taper it as we get to the side. And then right up here, we're going to curve it back around and then in behind. Now this curve, the top curve is going to come down, up, and then across. So let's continue this curve, going down, up, and we're just going to hook it over. Now we're going to work our way back from the tip, the curve, and just thicken that up and then taper it as we get towards the top. Now we're going to come down and then taper in towards the bottom of the curve. So continuing across, pull that in so it looks like the ribbon's folding. Now we're going to continue that back all the way up, so tapering it out. We want to make our way towards that point there. So going in behind the ribbon, going up. There's a second ribbon that goes in behind the mane and now towards the front of the body. So let's start right here. We're going to curve up. It'll go up in behind the mane and then down. We're going to thicken that up. So we're going to step up and just draw that same curve and then draw the same curve on the top. Now this is going to wave back around this way. So let's draw it right here, curving across towards the left. And from the tip, we're just going to taper it back in behind the neck. Now that we have the ribbon in place, I can continue the back coming down towards the hind leg. So from this point, I'm going to curve down. Now we're going to pull that out in behind the ribbon and then continue out towards the back of the hind leg. Now we're going to curve the back of the hind leg. Here we're 
just gonna curve down towards the paw. Let's draw in the paws going out this way. So from here, I'm just gonna curve down and up. Do that again. Do another curve going forward. And then one more time, curving across. Now from here, I'm gonna curve the front of the paw going up. And I'm gonna curve over going across like that. Now from these top points, I just wanna draw a short curve going up on two of those lines. Now at the top of this curve, I'm gonna draw the front of the hind leg going up. So following that same curve going up, I'm gonna overlap the thigh. So I'm gonna step back, curving forward towards the left. It'll go in behind the ribbon and we'll pull that up. Now from here, I'm gonna move over towards the left and draw on the front leg. So in behind the ribbon, right up here, I'm gonna draw a curve going back. We're gonna do an overlap. So we're gonna step up and we're gonna draw a curve going out towards the left. Now let's draw on the back side. We're gonna move over. Now it's a thick shoulder area here. So we're gonna curve in. Now we're gonna curve back down towards the paw, just like we did on this side, but in the opposite direction. Curving down to the same height. We're gonna curve and round out the back of the paw, coming down. Now we're gonna draw on the bottoms of the paw. So do one curve, two, and then three. Now I'm gonna square off the front, so we're going up. Now we're gonna go over that line there, going across. Now from these top points, I just wanna draw two short curves going up. Now that we have the front legs in place, I could draw in the body in behind. So I'm gonna start right up here in the chest. I'm gonna curve in behind the ribbon, and then behind the leg. Now this is gonna go up in the belly area and then down in behind the hind leg. So go up, in behind the ribbon, and then just pull it down. Now let's draw on the back leg here. We're gonna take that and just duplicate it in the back here. So we start with the front. We're gonna curve it across. We're gonna step up, curve down, and then forward. Now we're gonna draw on the back side. So right up here, curve out towards that point, curve forward towards the left, and then down. Round out the back of the paw. Now let's round out the bottom of the paws. Second one, and then the third. We're gonna round out the front, and then cross over that line. Now let's separate the paws. Let's add the last leg in the back here. So we're gonna start right where the leg meets the body. Curve forward, and then back, in behind the ribbon. Now from here, I wanna curve it down. Now this leg is gonna be higher than the one in the front. Let's round out the paws, doing one curve, two, and then three. Just square off the top of the curve. Now we're, from this point, I wanna curve up in the opposite direction, up towards the thigh. We go up to right about there, and then I curve up underneath the belly, going forward. Now let's separate the paws. Let's add that separation line across the body. So just underneath the eye, I'm gonna curve forward, around the neck, down, and then in behind this ribbon. It's gonna go behind this leg, and then just up above the belly. So we're following that same curve in behind the hind leg. Now this body detail is gonna come down on the inside of this leg here. So right up here, we're gonna curve down and over towards the right, and then we're gonna pull that up with a straight line to the inside of the leg. Let's draw another one on this back leg here. So right here, we're just gonna curve back and draw a straight line going to the back of the leg. The final thing I'm gonna do is add the pattern of diamonds across the side of the body. So let's start on the top side of this leg here. So we're gonna draw a diamond here, so two angled lines coming down, and then we're gonna pull that back in towards the bottom. We're gonna move over towards the back and do the same thing. I'm gonna draw one smaller one just below here. Now in the back, this one's gonna turn, so we're gonna see it just behind this ribbon here. Let's start up here, two angled lines, and come down to the bottom. We're gonna add two medium-sized ones at the top. So this one's gonna get tucked underneath this ribbon here. So I'm gonna start with the bottom edge first, and then we're gonna go up towards the top. Let's add another one right here, starting from the top coming down towards the bottom. Now there's one smaller one in the middle. So I'm gonna start at the top going up, then down on the side, in behind the ribbon. And we'll just pull that in behind the ribbon there. And there we have it, there's Suicune from Pokemon. 
I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and check out my Pokemon playlist. I have a new character every Tuesday. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.